What is up everyone? This is Erai. It's spelled E-R-A-Y and it's a cloudy, rainy Vancouver day. It's December 1st, so that's quite normal. So December 1st, as you now know, is between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Today is Sunday actually, so tomorrow is going to be Cyber Monday and I'm about to go do some technology shopping for myself. It's something that I've been in the market for for a long time now. I have done my fair bit of research and now finally it's time to pull the trigger. It's going to cost me a lot, a lot by my standards at least, but you know, I think I think it's the logical move to do, it's the right thing to do at this point in time for a number of different reasons I'll explain, but I first need a cameraman. Push. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I got my cameraman, uh, my friend Erkan, whom you may know from previous videos if you're a Turkish speaker and if you watched those videos. And actually, by the way, uh, we have a video, the two of us, talking about what Erkan is doing here in Vancouver, uh, what his profession is basically, and that video is blowing up by my channel standards. It was past 85,000 views the last time I checked. Recently, there was also this other video, also in Turkish, apologies, but in that video, I'm discussing how much I spent so far on my YouTube channel, and the number in that video was some Thing, uh, along the lines of 7,000 US dollars so that number is about to go up by a lot with this purchase which I'm not gonna reveal until the last minute okay so after a lot of downtown traffic in Vancouver uh, we were able to park the car now it is on this street that there are actually two camera stores that I will go into I was actually going to go for one this direction but then I can suggest that well we can also try this one but the thing is online these guys offered the same price but they were not giving an extra battery or an SD card like these guys do uh, by the way this video obviously is not not sponsored but uh, the thing is this camera shop that we're going to is a well-known name uh, is, a, is a local brand if I can put it that way so we'll go in and I'll ask if they will price match well the, it, the price is the same but they will goody match I was actually going there straight and then my friend was like Oh, like, because they don't offer the same thing and it was like uh, Do I get a maybe ask we should maybe ask. Always ask, man. And oh, what was your name? Ed I. Ed I? Yeah, trust me. So they were kind enough to price match. I mean, the price was the same, but uh, they were offering a shoulder bag instead of the memory card. So they were like, yep, we'll give you the memory card. No worries. So yay for spending uh, almost $2,500. Ching. Ching. <laughs> That's what happened with like, uh, Peter McKinnon. Oh, yeah. He, Canada's finest. Yeah, he just did one video that went viral, and then within a year, he had like 2 million subscribers. Yeah, now it's past four. Yeah, it's crazy. He's only had it for like two and a half, three years. Yeah. Is it three years this December? The guy checks all the boxes, though. He has a personality, he's fun, he knows his camera yeah. stuff. He, also, he has all the connections. Naturally. Then I just get jealous of him now because he's at what four million subscribers and he's yeah. shooting all his videos on red. And I'm like, oh. um, all right, dude. So total tax in really like at 27, 11, 12. Okay, cool. How'd you want to pay? Uh, Mastercard. I'll have to blur all this, but <laughs> more work for me in editing. Yay! It's gonna be ready for you right there, man. Okay, cool. That's for you as Perfect. well. Perfect. Thanks so much. Have a great day, man. Thank you. Do you mind if we take a quick photo? There, Go for it. Go okay. for okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you, man. Thanks, man. Take it out thumbnail, right? Yeah. Yay! So, we got the camera. We got the camera. Uh, they did not have the mic, as I said, but, you know, no worries. So, we're now walking over to the other camera store to see if they have the mic in stock. Uh, you're gonna wonder, naturally, how much I paid. Well, I paid something like 2,700 Canadian dollars. Uh, that's actually more than I was planning to pay for it. But the thing is, I also got two years of additional coverage. So, insurance for the camera. Uh, Justin was really helpful in explaining what it covered, what it gave me uh, as options if something went wrong with the camera or the lens. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I will have three years of insurance. Why not? A few moments later. Mission accomplished, part two. We got the mic as well. So this other store had the mic in stock. It was, it's the same price basically everywhere. And that's actually one of the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay, it's Black Friday, it's Cyber Monday. There are discounts on stuff. You maybe need stuff stuff but but what should be your strategy in these times of all these discounts like should you go crazy just because some no-name cheap stuff on Amazon is discounted at 40% do you really need it or 
where should you go? Because the prices seem to be the same across all the major e retailers. So there are a couple points that I'm going to make about these discounts and everything, but let us first go get some food. Now that I spent almost $3,000, here's my take on this uh, Cyber Monday, Black Friday discount madness thing. Now, this is going to sound really obvious, but first point is don't buy stuff that you don't actually need. Just ask yourself the question, do you really need that thing that you're looking at on Amazon? Make the distinction, don't buy stuff that you don't actually need or that you're not going to use. Two, do your research ahead of time. Well, now it's a bit too late for you, probably not for me, because I have done my research on the camera and this is really the best time for me to buy it. For you, is that really the right item, the right product, uh, the right specifications? Is it really going to fit your needs? Have you looked into it? Have you looked at the prices of that product in time over let's say multiple months or even years and for that you can use a website that's called camelcamelcamel.com that tracks the prices of items that are on sale on Amazon so you can see the historic chart of the prices of that product so you can say okay this is the lowest it has been in six months so this might be a good deal so what did you buy this Black Friday Cyber Monday weekend of madness the damage wasn't so bad for me so <laughs> okay about one just one tenth of what I spent. Exactly. So, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <Shit>. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I had this um, Sony's uh, noise cancelling headphones. I had the second gen, and uh, a friend of mine, a coworker of mine, actually, uh, put his eyes on it. He was like, "If you want, I can take this off you and uh, pay you some money, so you can upgrade." And uh, I saw these babies were on discount on Best Buy, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." Why I'm not? Taking. Get yeah, the latest and greatest because you know. That's how you roll. Yeah. <laughs> Third point, speaking of all of these discounts, don't forget that the steepest discounts, the biggest percentages will always be on the generic stuff, the no-name stuff, the knockoff uh, items or products. Don't expect the top of the line products, the premium products, the above average quality well-known brands and their products to be discounted at huge percentages. On something like a brand new camera from Canon, Fujifilm, uh, Sony or Nikon at this point, Nikon is probably going out of business, but anyways, on those big brands, even the stuff that came out a year ago, will probably get a 15 to 30% discount, so it's not going to be huge. I mean, even at those percentages, sure, you will save money, but just bear in mind that the great stuff will not be probably not be at 50% off. My fourth point is, now I just mentioned that the top of the line stuff, the best products, the flagship products from the major brands will not get steep discounts. Now that's true for some big items like cameras, like some more expensive items for the most part, that is true, but good quality, well-known brands sometimes will give you good discounts like 40% off, 50% off on accessories and peripherals for the most part. For instance, uh, since we're talking photography and videography, well, since I bought a camera, SD cards, um, SSDs, hard drives, even from well-known brands such as SanDisk, Western Digital, those things will probably get really good discounts. So if you need more of that stuff, which most of us really do, especially if you're dabbling in photography and videography, so that stuff will get good discounts in Black Friday, Cyber Monday, in that craziness. My fifth and final point, in all of this madness, do not forget to check if manufacturers are also offering educational discounts on top of everything because some brands, actually most brands do, even at discounted prices, some brands will give you an additional $100 off or a certain additional percentage off. Make sure if you qualify also to check the educational discount situation with whatever product you're thinking about buying. Well, that's all from me. This is my hot take on Black Friday, Cyber Monday madness. I've just made a huge purchase and hopefully I'll start using that camera and make some of that money back. But if you have any questions, comments, you know the drill, put them down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Kardeşim önüme kır. Adamsın. Tetamis. Is it just a nice to have situation? Aynı şeyi beş kere niye söyledim acaba ya? On something like a brand new camera from Canon. Uh, Canon?
Now I just mentioned that the top of the line. Ha, be, bir sakin bir nefes al ya. Bu videolar hep böyle çekiliyor bu arada. Arka planında görmüş oluyorsun. 